I can be a pretty lazy guy, so the thought of dismantling an IBC tote to paint the outside of a plastic reservoir seemed like a slow and torturous death to me. I started to think of different ways to block the radiant light and heat from turning my reservoir into a breeding ground for algae. I've been a huge fan of using Reflectix for various hydroponic projects over the years. I quickly realized that by starting with an empty IBC tote, there is just enough wiggle room to sneak a layer of Reflectix in between the plastic reservoir and the steel cage surrounding it. Once I had that part figured out, I knew a saw lid was needed to block the radiant light and heat to the top of the reservoir. Reflectix just wasn't strong enough for the task at hand. I went to my favorite local box store and purchased a thick sheet of insulation foam. I personally like to shave off the entire roof of my plastic totes. It gives me easy access to literally crawl inside the tote to clean it if necessary. After I created a foam lid, I thought it was a slam dunk. That is, until I got sick and tired of lifting up the lid and pushing it back down every time I wanted to check my water level or mix my nutrients. I had a vision. By using a skill saw set on an angle, I could create an access lid that's beveled to keep it from dropping into the tank below. I prefer to make this small access lid into a circle, but really any shape can be used. By making a small access lid, I can quickly drop the nutrients in, check my water level, and change my valve to recirculate the nutrients. By threading a small wood screw into the center of the access lid, it's even easier for me to pull it up or push it back down. If you want to get really fancy, you could even substitute the wood screw for a cabinet knob. I hope this quick design helps my fellow lazy gardeners spend more time in the patch and less time with a paintbrush in your hand wondering how the hell you got there.